My name is Maria Martinez. Since my early years in, in life, my parents nourished my faith life. We would go to retreats, prayer groups, and pray together as a family. I was 12 years old when I remember praying in front of the Blessed Sacrament. I would never forget what I promised to him in a Eucharistic procession. I will serve you for the rest of my life. I don't know how or what to do because I'm probably too young to be trusted, but I will serve. It wasn't far from reality. As soon as I requested my entrance to one of the church choirs, they didn't really believe I was serious. I was determined though. Nobody knew my promise, but I was to keep it. As time kept going, my desire to serve him kept growing. Although I wasn't so mature, I was convinced that what was in my heart was love. I wanted to give my all to Jesus. At that time, God's voice inviting me to follow him was very gentle. I believe that's when my vocations began. But there came a time when my intention to become a sister wasn't much supported. I was discouraged. This time I wasn't persistent and the thought of becoming a religious was put off. I came to realize the greatest purpose of our lives is to love and to be loved by him. The contemplation of a consecrated life was always going through the back of my head. Everything started when one of the sisters forgot her purse in the, in the store where I work. I took it back to her and the moment I stepped inside the doors of that convent, I was absorbed by a profound peace. It was as if I had found my place. I fell at home and I didn't want to leave. My heart started burning with a great and intense desire to pursue this vocation. A new life had begun. The seed that God had placed in my heart as a young girl began to flourish. Some of our apostolates include visiting the sick, assisting families and individuals in need, and serving the poorest of the poor. The mission is to work for the sanctification of the poorest of the poor, wherever they may be in the world. I'm very excited about becoming one of the daughters of Mother Teresa. It is still work in progress, I have an obstacle to overcome, getting rid of my student loan. I trust that God will lead me in the right way. He will provide workers for his vineyard. Please support me and my classmates at the Lavore Society with a financial gift so we can serve the Lord in a greater capacity. I invite you to please pray for everyone that has listened to the voice of God inviting them to follow him. I pray that everyone that hears the call may be open to his divine will. I entrust myself to your prayers. May God bless you and your loved ones, and the Blessed Mother protect you. Mm -hmm.